Tav Peyam at Beis, right at the top. Ton Rabonon Hamaitzi Sehar. What's the share of taking out hair? That's Kedel Gabal Boy Esetit. That is the amount that's used to knead the tit. They used to put sayer hair into it that strengthens it. The amount that's normally used to gobble the tit, how much tit, what is the shear of the tit? That is tit. Lastly, it's pikur shall surface of. That is the amount that's used to make the rim around the opening of the crucible to have the billow fit in tightly. Sid, they lost it. So it's said the lime, what's the share of lime is to Kedei Lossed as a bonus. Tonda Kedei Lossed Espa Katana bonus. In order to the amount that's needed to apply to a small finger of, of the young girls. <clears throat> they use the Sid to give the uh, brighter appearance, <clears throat> a more beautiful appearance of the skin, the redder appearance, and the amount that's needed for an Espa Katana of the bonus. So he says that there's another application for the Sid, that's as a depilatory to remove unwanted hair. So he says, that they already reached a level of maturity, but not of age. So they started to be Megadal Sayer, to grow hair, but they were still very young and they were embarrassed about it. So they wanted to therefore remove the sayar. Benais and Niam Titus Aisam Basit. They used to remove it with Sid. They were poor, they didn't have the money for something more expensive. They used Sid. Benais Ashirim Titus Aisam Basilus. They had more money, so they used Silas. They used Kora Kora's flower. Benais Malachim, the daughters of royalty, Titus Aisam Bishemanamor. They used the more expensive Shemanamor. Shinemra Shisha Chadoshim Bishemanamor. They, to give the appearance to the skin, to give the, the beautify, they use Shemin Amor. My Shemin Amor, Rav Huna Barchi Amar Sitachas. That's what it is. Rav Yerba Ava Amar Shemin Zayin Shlo Yaviyashlish. It's the Shemin Zayin, olive oil that, from the olives that have not yet grown a third of the full growth of it. That's what they used to use. That was the oil that was used. Tanya Rav Yehuda Amar, Ampikonen is Shemin Zayas That's what the Ampikonen is. It's a Shemin Zayas that was not from a, uh, from olives that were not grown uh, more than a third. That haven't yet reached rather a third of the full growth. Below Masachan why did they? Well, with Masachan Oisoyim, Shemesim Esaseya. It removed unwanted hair, um adin as a bosser, and it beautified the the skin. Rabbi Vihavile Bat, he had a daughter, Tafle Aver Aver, so he used this and he applied it one limb at a time. So she, he therefore made her in such an basiofa that the one man wanted to marry her and he was able to receive 400 zoos. For the uh, from the Chalson, who uh, because she was in such high demand, um, and he made it uh, so attractive to them, she was in such high demand, he was able to receive 400 zoos. There was a certain Nochri in his neighborhood, so he saw what he did, so he, he copied it, and Tafla Bachad but he applied it all at one time. Umesa, and she died. Omer Kotl Rabbi Bilabati, he said she, he killed his daughter. And then he followed what he did and, and uh, put it in her sakon and she died. Omer of Nachman Rabbi Bilabati, he said Rabbi Bilabati, that over there, and their custom is over there, that they drink beer, so there's a lot of growth of the sayar of the hair. So they had to use tafla, they had to be metafla and remove it. They needed a debilitory. Ananda la shasin and shikha, but he says in our region we don't drink beer. Loi bai and banta tafla, our daughters don't require it. So that's the shear of the chacham. And Rabbi Huda Aimer, he says the shear of the sin is kde lasud kilkul. He said lasud kilkul, my kilkul, my indifin. Rabbi Nechemia said andifi. So what is a kilkul? What is an andifi? Al marav, sido bas sida. It's the amount to flatten the hair on the temples, on the side of the ha- head, and bastida, 
the amount that is above it under the cap right above the temples to flatten uh, that area as well. So the main sure that of Yehuda and not fish, so the area to flatten out the hair on the sides of, of the head of the temple, that's more than the past sida. So you mean to say that the share of Yehuda is greater? the share of the Rabbanan not fish. But we hold that the share of the Rabbanan, like we had by the case of the Gemi, that the share of the Rabbanan was larger than Rav Yehuda's shear of mineral cotton. The Rabbanan said it was a shear to make the loop for the sieve, and Rav Yehuda said it's the meatus mineral cotton. So we know that the shear of the Rabbanan is larger, and Rav Yehuda's is a smaller shear. More answers, Zutamid Rabbanan, Rav Nachesh, Rav It's, yes, Rav Yehuda's a lesser shear than the Rabbanan, but it's more than Rav Nachemia. So relative to the Rabbanon, it's a smaller share, but relative to the Chemia, it's a larger share. May say, Alas Yokash, I'm a Rebbe, near in the Rebbe, Huda Bechovod. He says that the shear of Rebbe Huda is near Bechovod when it's mixed with and diluted with a lot of water. It's in more of a liquidy state. The Divra of Nechemia Bebitzas and Rabbi Nechemia's share is Bebitzas is when it's not mixed with that much water and it's more of a clump. Now, if that's the case, how can you say that we're talking about a Tzidu Basida? In both cases, it would be the same consistency. We would be talking more of a diluted consistency. Now, here it seems to be two different things completely that we're not talking about Tzidu Basida. There is neither Divri Rabbi Yehuda that when it's Chavut and Rabbi Yehuda, so we're talking about two different applications. So therefore, that cannot be the Pshat. Ella was the Pshat, because if that's the case, so Vesal Kadaita, so if you're saying Divri Divri Nechem Bebitzas Asid, Vesal Kadaita, Tzidu Basidu, Yidavidi Chavut, Ella Ma Rabbi Yitzvak, Debe Rabbi Hami, and Difa. What it's talking about over here is, is that when there was a container and they used to make, uh, and there was a hole in it, they had uh, two holes in it, and they used to, when they wanted to fill up the barrel, they uh, they closed up the lower hole, and they to fill it up, and they uh, used this, the seed, to close up the hole. So they had a higher and a lower hole in the barrel. When they wanted to fill up the barrel, they closed up the lower hole and they used it with the Sid. Maskev Larav Kahana, Vichy Adam Waisa Maisa Van Porus. Is he gonna throw away his money, waste his money, and he's gonna make use the Sid for to close up the hole? It'll be dissolved by the liquid, by the wine will dissolve the Sid and it'll go to waste. So he wouldn't use Sid to close up the hole in the barrel. Elam Rav Kahana Shinasis. What he used the line was for when he had a measuring cup a container that he wanted to measure a certain amount of volume, so he used the, uh, the lucid, the lime, to show what the levels were. So for instance, like you have a measuring cup. You want to show here is a quart, here is, here is uh, two quarts. So they had lines, and these were white lines with the sid, which they measured off in the container the different uh, volumes, the different measurements that they wanted to measure. Kiddushnan, like we learned in the Mishnah, we learned in the Mishnah Menachos, Shnosos, so you be in. They had the different markings that were on the container of the hin. Ad kan lepar to this level is what you need for the sachem of the par. Ad kan laio, ad kan lekevus. In different markings, the volume that was needed for the different korbanos. So here also the amount the of sid that is needed to make a marking on a measure, measuring cup, a measuring container to use it for a marking. Ibaisema my andifa apusa. So ibaisema is my andifa is apusa. That it means that something totally different. It's what they used to put uh, on the forehead. They used to put on to make the forehead and to make to make it look uh, look a, a nice appearance. Uh, they used to put it on the forehead. So, Rav Yehuda says uh, uh, Rav Yehuda says that the amount was serious uh, to make a kilkul, and Rav Chaim says on So the 
first shot is is that the kill call is now we're talking about and Rabbi Huda says is that to flatten the hair on the temples and Rabbi Nehemia says it's to do it to the amount of Sid that is for a measuring cup which is now Lamaisa therefore as we're showing you to speak out Lamaisa therefore the shear of Rav Nechemia, according to that, will in fact be a smaller uh, shear, the, uh, would be rather, the shear of Rav Nechemia would now be a larger shear than Rav Yehuda, and Rav Yehuda would be a zuter, like we said before, the shear of Rav Yehuda is less, and not only the Chachomim, less than Rav Nechemia as well, because Rav Yehuda says it's for Etzida, and Rav uh, Nechemia says it's for the, uh, Andife is for the for the measuring cup. And here in the second shot is, is that Rav Nechem is saying is the amount to apply to a forehead to be ma'ad and to beautify the forehead. And again, it'll come out that Rav Yehuda is the lesser shear, not only the chum, like Rav Nechem as well. So where do we see that andufa means a forehead, it means a puta? There was someone from Gaul, he went to Bavel, they said to him, Go darshan for us in Maisa Markava. Amar Lo, he said to him, Edrish Lachuk, the darshan of the Chemi, the Chavri, should I darshan to you? Like Rechemi darshan, the son of the Nafka Arisa, Min Kaisel, and a scorpion came out, or a hornet rather, came out from the wall, Umarse Bandife, and stung him on his forehead, Umis, and he died. So you want me to do the same thing? And they said that it was he was deserving of it because he was not Roy to Darshan Mais Markovit. The way some unfortunately want to explain it, but but you on the other hand, they said to him, You are an R Roy, so you should darshan to us uh, for the Maris Markov. But upon what you see is is that that it is a Raisim in Kodamaksa and Dife, that the Andife is a forehead. So this is the amount that's needed to apply to the forehead. Zakta Mishna Dama Kechaisem Amatsuf. What is the shear of a Dama of taking out earth? It's enough to make a seal on Martsufim. They used to make a seal when they used to take the, the sacks, when they used to uh, transport the merchandise. They used to seal it, they used to seal it with the with the Adama. That's the amount of the shear of the Adama. The Chum say no, it's the amount that's used to make a seal for letters. And sealing letters, they sealed it with Adama, that's the shear of Adama. Zevel, fertilizer, the Chola Dak, and fine sand, Kedil Zavel, Kelev, Shal Kruv, Div Rabakiva. Rabakiva says it's the amount to fertilize a stalk of cabbage. Chum Marim, Kedil Zavel, Kresha, they say to be Mazavel, a Kresha leak. That's the amount. And as Rashi says, and that's a leak that's uh, smaller, the, the shear is smaller than the one the shear for the cabbage. Cholagas, if it's coarse sand, kdeliten or malaykaf sid. It's the amount that they use when they have the trowel for the plasters. They had the trowel and when the plaster used to mix it with thick, with coarse sand. The amount, the standard trowel size of the plasterer and the amount of plaster that was on it, the amount of chol hagas that was used to mix with the with the sit with the lime. Kana, if there's a reed, what's the share for kana? Kide lasa is kolmas to make a pen to make a quill. Vima of a marusa, but it was thick or crushed, so it's not suitable for a pen. Kide lavashable be kala, the amount that's used for fuel. To cook with it a beakala, a light egg, the more will define what that is. Kal beakala shabbayim, trufa beaten in a sunabi ilfus, and beaten and put into the pot. The more will explain al malik sin. So the whole agas is to put on the trowel of the plaster. Tonak de litin al pikav shall say yadin. To put on the pikav shall say on the plasters, that's what it means. Mantana, the whole Malulay Sid. Who is the Tana that holds that sand is beneficial for the Sid, and therefore they would mix it with it, and that's the shear for whole, the amount that's mixed with the Sid. Amar of the Rabbi Yudi, the Tana is Rabbi Yudi, the Sanyala, you also know them as base of a Sid. A person should not be uh, put plaster on his house with Sid. Elam can ear by Tevanachol. Unless he mixed it with Tevanachol. One cannot 
uh, plaster the house after the Chorban, we had to make a Zecher Chorban. So the Sid was too bright. Now, if you mix it with a tevin or coal, straw or coal, then it's mutter. But otherwise, he can't because it's too bright. So apparently, the coal dims the color, and therefore, it is mutter. Rabbi Yehuda married tevin mutter a coal also. Ikneshu ta ta chasid. He said tevin is mutter because the tevin it strengthens it, but the coal is also because it makes it it's bright. So it's also because of Zechel Chorban. So we see over here that the Chachamim say that the, apparently that the Chol is not beneficial and therefore it will dim the color and therefore you can use the Sid if you mix with Chol. But Rabbi Yehuda says it's only Tevin, but Chol is also. So we see that according to apparently that Rabbi Yehuda is the one that holds that the hole is beneficial for the sin. So it must be Rav Yehuda, Rav Amar, Filotim, Rabban. Rav said you can even say that it's the Rabbanan, Kilkil, Zetikuna. No, it's even according to the Rabban. And yes, that they say that the hole dims the color, but the very fact that now it dims the color and you're able to use the sin to plaster your house, that's Tikuna. The Kilkula is our Tikuna. Because if you didn't have the chol, it would be awesome because the chol would be awesome. Now, with the chol, it's motor. So even though, essentially, it's not beneficial, but lemaisa, practically speaking, it is what enables you to now use this for your house, so that's a tikkun, so that's what people would use it for, and therefore the shir for white saw is chol. So we could be going, our Mishnah could be going according to the chol as well. Kana, what's the shear for the Kana? Could they last with Kulmus to make a pen? Tana, Kulmus, on Megillah Kishbeis, boys. The length of it, the length of the quill, is that what comes to his knuckles? Boy, Ravashi, Kesher Elyon, or Kesher Tachtan? Is it the Kesher, the knuckle that's connected to the palm of the hand, or the one lower down in the middle of the finger? Teku, it's a Teku. The Maya of, uh, if it was not suitable for a kumas, it's the amount that's used to fuel for for cooking, for roasting an egg. Tana, trufa, b'shemen, v'nesuna, b'ilfus. It's beaten with oil, and it's now on the ilfus. It's in a pot or a pan. Omrle marbrei, the ravina liberei, mi shamalach be'akala mahi. So it says, and the Mishnah says, that it's k'day lavash, l'boi be'akala. What is a bea kala? Amalei bea's at the tzolsula. It says it's the bea of a tzolsula. It's a small bird. It's a rash small bird. Some say it's a dove. My time, mishon de zucho. We're saying because it's called kala because it's small. So ema de tzifrita. Why don't you say it's even a smaller bird? It's a tzifrita. Which one is even smaller than that? Ishtik. Amalei midi shmilach v'ha. So did anyone tell explain what this is referring to? It means from a tanagailus. That's what it means. It's from a chicken. My carla bea kala. Why is it called bea kala? It's not the smallest of the eggs. So my carla bea kala. There's no bea that cooks quicker, that's easier to cook or to roast more than a bay of a tanagaila. So Maishna, a Svekti Gemara Maishna, calls Shira Shabbos Ki Gregoras Vach Kabeya, Svekti Gemara. Well, but why normally by all foods we say the shear of anything that's Roy Lachila, the shear is Ki Gregoras, the dried fig. And why over here it should be a bea? Why do we say that the shear is a bea? Omrle answered, Hachi Amar of Nachman, Ki Gregoras, Mi Bea Kala. No, En Chanami, the shear here is also a Gregoras. It doesn't mean the size of an egg. It's a Gregoras, Mi Bea Kala. It's the Gregoras of that shear, that size of a Gregoras from a Bea be- a of a Tarnagoilus. The type of Bea is a Tarnagoilus. The amount of it is a Gregoras. So, to the, the wood that we're talking about over here, the conet is the amount that you need for fuel to be able to cook the an egg, a chicken's egg, the size of a Gregor is, that's called Bayakala because it cooks very quickly.